Ready! Alright folks, welcome back to more adventures in Where in the World is Carmen San Diego. Artie, Senior Investigator, has six cases under our belt. Very, very nice. No big deal, no big deal. Let's up that to nine or ten today. We're going to continue because the Chief has got more cases for us. I hope you had a restful vacation because you're about to get very busy. Can you take a new case right now? I wasn't on vacation. I had a long, hard day of work today, Chief. But yes, I do want a new case. Because this is way better than my actual job. Evil is lurking in turkey gumshoe. Some foul fisherman stole every anchovy from the Black Sea. All of them? All those savory pizzas and salty canapes will be bland, bland, bland. Unless you catch the creep who filched those fish. Go to it. How would I just teach them how to make pepperoni pizza instead? Because it's way better than anchovy pizza. Well, we got that sweet guitar, and we're going to Turkey. To save sardines and not turkeys. Alright. Very peaceful. Dry cleaning receipt, tailor receipt. Taken in seam by six inches. A short job for a short customer. Alright. They are short. What do you need? <laughs> what do you need? She's traveling north from Zambia on a lorry to La Bambashi. North from Zambia. So Zambia, I know, is in Africa. I thought a lorry was something in the UK, though. She had an accessory, which she wound once a day. Alright, so we got a girl. And she wearing a watch. Hey, lady. Hi there. What's up? She's sipping tea on a tea plantation in the Matumba Mountains near Burundi. Okay, now this is definitely in Africa. She could barely get a comb through her caramel-colored hair. All right, she got brown hair. Cool. We just need to know how fat she is. Which is the piece of information that either nobody is willing to divulge or everyone divulges. Yes, what is it? Where'd it go? The jet she left on had a green flag with a torch painted on its tail. Okay. If there were two of her, they'd look like chopsticks. Cool, she's super skinny. All right, we already got the warrant. All right. Oh! Guys, <laughs> We're going to the long forgotten, no longer existing country of Zaire. <laughs> that dates the game. I wouldn't say I had a crush on Carmen growing up, but I mean, I always was like, yeah, she's a good looking woman. She's the classy, modest kind of uh, beautiful, which I really appreciate. Hey, lady. Hey, dude. Do you need information? <laughs> Almost said, hey, lady. <laughs> I told her she couldn't haggle about a traffic ticket at the International Court of Justice, but she was headed for the Hague anyway. I have no idea what you just said, dude. <laughs> I mean, guys and girls can know when somebody of the same gender is good-looking. We just aren't, aren't usually attracted to them. What's going on? Oh, Marty, you absolutely could cosplay as Carmen, and that would be amazing. She's lying low in Leiden, site of the nation's oldest university and the birthplace of the artist Rembrandt. Oh, Rembrandt. Oh, okay. I think that's France. It's France or the Netherlands? Rembrandt you know, sounds like a French name, though. It's not a French name. Hey, dude. Boo! I love doing that. It's a guilty pastime of mine. Ooh, that is a fine dress. Hello, can I be of service? Yeah, where'd they go? She plans to build sandcastles on 90 Mile Beach, but she promised she wouldn't make a sound in Milford. Okay, so it's a place that's presumably on a coastline. That could be literally any of the places. Oh, hello, sir. Hello. Hello. She wrestled with the idea of exploring the Fall Nelson area before pinning her hopes on a trip to Marlborough. Mm-hmm. Don't know where that is. Oh, hello. Hi there. What's up? Hey, what's that? She's hightailing it to a sheep station in Queenstown to do some wool gathering. Is it just the UK? There are only three hints here. Out of all these hints, I'm guessing it's the UK. 
And it's very short. It's a 45-minute flight. We could walk there, pretty much. It's not the UK. Cool. Marlboro. All right. <laughs> Randburger, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome aboard. We're just playing Carmen San Diego and failing horribly because I am terrible at history and geography. <laughs> Naturally, it's going to be a good time. All right. Uh, Australia, New Zealand, or Panama. Those are all very different. Mm, I don't think it's Panama. I don't think it's Australia either, to be frank. If we guess New Zealand, then we're wrong, though. We're guessing New Zealand. Uh-oh, we didn't get any translation dialogue. That's my favorite of the airplane music in this. Actual classical music? Come on. Greetings, oh, thank goodness, it's New Zealand. New Zealand kiwis shouldn't be missed. The bird or the fruit? I'm friendly, kitty. I like cats. Tell me what you need. I want to know where the suspect went. She claimed went. she was meeting a member of the National Assembly in Islamabad. Okay, well, that narrows it down. Somewhere in the Middle East. Uh, it's Pakistan. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I only needed the one clue. Hello, lady, you do not... Do you need something? That's definitely not a Pakistan accent. She praised Nelson Mandela, the nation's first black president. I've heard of Na Nelson Mandela. Okay, it's not China. Uh, I mean... Probably South Africa? Wait. No, hang on, hang on. Oh, no, it is South Africa. Why are you throwing firecrackers at me, cat? Alright, so she got a watch. She's very thin. She got brown hair. And she's short. Okay, it's almost certainly her. Okay, here we go. What do you need? I need you to get down on the ground because you're under arrest! Every time we stream, the first person who comes to our rescue is always the grandma. The worldly blab, Sue Me, sent up the river. I guess the gig is up. Time for me to face the music. Bring back all those anchovies. Even though they're all probably dead now. Hey, I see by the paper you Submit. spoiled another caper. <laughs> you pursued Sue Me all the way to a guilty verdict. Yeah, Great I did. Job. Thank you. But Carmen's already got another evil recipe simmering. Ah, I'm not Are surprised. Are you ready to take on another case right now? Well, you're so serious, and yes, Chief, I absolutely am. I take this job very seriously. There's been a brazen burglary <laughs> in Bolivia. The fish from half of Lake Titicaca are gone. What's with so people stealing all the fish? Present, but the Bolivian fish have been filched. I've got to guess who got them. Carmen's crew, that's who. Get on it, Gumshoe! Uh-oh. This would be a routine scheme, but with you on the case, I'm looking forward to an exciting chase. Thank you, Carmen. Where the heck did you buy that red coat? It is styling. Why is everybody stealing fish this episode? It's like, we, they stole all the anchovies from this sea in Turkey. Then it's like, they stole half the fish from this place in Bolivia. Next time it's like, they stole all the sharks from Shark Reef in Disney World. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> now Disney is lying to us. Hello, lady, where did the suspect go? She told me she knew she could cross Johor Strait by road or railway. Okay. Cowabunga. With that toe head, she looked like a serious surfer. Say no more. I know exactly what this is. She obviously is a ginger, right? No, no, she's blonde. Because apparently surfers have to be blonde. 
Doctor's report. Patient appears to be in fine health, though we did not get an exact weight reading as the patient broke the scale. Well, um, I'm not sure if that means she's in fine health. I'm just going to point it out. I don't want to be mean. I'm just being realistic. <laughs> what? <laughs> did, did you just hear me make the fat comment? <laughs> she's like, what? <laughs> you have something you want to say about fat people? No, no, lady. Tamasek means sea town, she whispered cryptically. Uh huh. Her hair gleamed like sunlight. I know, I don't like having a bunch of rules. That's why I changed it to that one, because now that's more all encompassing. Do you need some help? Yeah, I want to know where they went. Oh, and Wilson? She said the name of the island country and the name of the capital city of her destination were the same. I am respecting the people, but I'm also not going to lie about certain facts of reality. She took a snapshot to remember me yeah. by. This big brain time. Got the camera. Just need to know how tall she is. Oh, yes. I noticed she was reading the Straits Times, the largest English-speaking newspaper in Southeast Asia. She must often be asked to sit at the back of a theater. Is that because she's tall or because she's fat? I'm assuming it's because she's tall. All right. There we go. So, Southeast Asia. So, oh, that's got to be Singapore. So they speak Mandarin in Singapore. Good to know. I just realized. Do they have Korea here? Okay, they they have South Korea, but not North Korea for obvious reasons. Welcome. She talked a lot about building a watt in Kompot. <laughs> Carmen's actually hiding in North Korea, a place that we can't go to. No one would ever suspect. Stare, but her hair looked like straw. Oh wait, I don't need to be asking them about what they look like. We have the warrant. Hey, dude. Do you need information? Why, yes, I do. She's on the lam, just west of Vietnam. Cool. That narrows it down. West of Vietnam? Oh, it's gotta be Cambodia. I have some basic geography facts. Oh. Carmen's actually hanging out in Antarctica. Good day to you! I literally met your twin in the last area we were in. She was holding a brochure that read, Visit the Atacama Desert, where the rain disdains the plain. Okay. Somewhere where it's a desert, so not France, not Italy. Not Thailand. I don't think it's Chile, so... Turkey. I'm sorry, Chile. Chile is what you make in the Midwest on a cold day. I guess it's not there, all right? There's no deserts in Thailand. Oh, wait, are there deserts in Thailand? Where is Thailand? Is that, no, no, there's no deserts over there, I guess. I didn't think there were deserts in Chile, though. No, I guess there are deserts in Chile. I also have no idea if they actually intentionally put the dot for Chile there, or if it was supposed to be there and it was just a programming error. But I think we go to Easter Island, so maybe it's intentional. Hey, lady. Can I be of assistance? Yes! She's on a short trek with pygmy trackers in the Atori rainforest. A rainforest? Okay, well, that narrows it down. <laughs> Definitely Canada, right? No, it's, it's Zaire. We keep going back to Zaire today. Hi, glad to meet you. I literally met your twin in the last place. I asked her what her schedule was, but she said she wouldn't have any dates in hand until she reached the Persian Gulf. Cool. 
All right, definitely Ar not Argentina, not Brazil. Uh... I guess it. You know, it'll be Iran. I mean, Iran and Israel are, are both in the Middle East, but Iran is, yeah, where the Persian Gulf is. Is that the same laugh at the beginning of Diddy Cone Racing? <laughs> it sounded like the same laugh. Okay, we're looking for someone who's tall and fat, blonde hair with a camera. Uh, is that a camera in your hand? It's in the... I think it might be. Oh. If you... Dude, you are very lucky that you're a dude. And that you don't have a camera. Oh, she'd be... Look at how sly she's being. She's trying to hide the fact that she's in a camera. She keeps swapping over to her back hand so you can't see the camera. But that is definitely a camera. Well, hello. Well, hello. You're going to jail. <laughs> Empty pockets put behind bars. I love that capturing. Darn, and I thought I had this caper all sewn up. Ha <laughs> ha! Nope. Great work! The papers are praising your perfect pursuit. Thank you. There's an empty cell waiting for M.T. Pockets, and she's getting tossed into it right now. Good, I good. I use more of your superb skills right now. There's been another crime. Oh, no. Do you want to take the case? Yes, Chief. I will. Carmen is causing fear in Zaire. Mm. One of her stooges Again. just stole the Zaire River Ferry. It used to be the best way to get around, but now it's just another clipper in Carmen's fleet. Your job is to catch the crook who took it and put it back in service. Head out! Everyone's stealing stuff related to water. How are you hacking my phone, Carmen? Mm, I enjoy a good challenge, but I'm afraid that soon you may be out of your league. Farewell. I love how Carmen even does the video call, just to flex. It's still, it's always kind of perplexing to me that they speak, like, French in that area. Like, you would expect, you'd expect Africa to not be speaking things like French, but apparently they do. Why, hello! Hello! I know that she got into some rotten affair in Rotterdam, a port city that has been rebuilt since World War II. Okay. She was continually checking the time. Alright, see ya, Marty. All girls this time as well. Gotta watch. Alright, treatment of minor abrasion to forehead. Lofty patient forgot to duck in the doorway. Cool. It, that, that was actually dropped by not the suspect. It was dropped by someone else. What's on your mind? Where did they go? She recently got the bright idea to hide out in Enthoven in an old electric bulb factory built by Anton Phillips. This seems to be the work of Anton's caliber. Her barber calls her Ruby Root. That's a weird nickname, but cool. She's a redhead. Just like you. Ah, glad to meet you. Thanks. Ah, uh, here she thinks that living in a windmill along the Kinderdijk is a bit of a grind. Okay, that's gotta be Denmark, right? She wore a ticker that outcalculated my computer. <gasps> oh, hey, Mr. West! What do you need? She wants to eat some Edom in Edom, but I think she's also stopping to eat good cheese in Gouda. At her weight, she can probably fit clothes marked one size fits all. Cool. I love getting the warrant in the first location. Okay, it's not Denmark, but it would definitely be Netherlands then. <laughs> I know. They're just they're just blabbing about their locations to everybody. That poor janitor. Ooh, this is a nice looking city. Oh, ahoy! You need information. <laughs> ahoy! <laughs> when I asked where in the world would be her next stop, she said, think banking and electronics. Uh huh. Um. Oh, now Denmark is an option. 
I think I'm gonna get a little more information. Oh, oh no. Oh, yes. Yeah. I noticed she was reading the Straits Times, the largest oh. English speaking <laughs> newspaper in Southeast Asia. They always give that clue. Alright, we go into Singapore. Singapore, it's Singapore, going to Singapore now. Okay. Uh, I have to say, I have not heard of Larry Lawton before. Singapore, we do end up back here every so often, don't we? Hey, dude. What can I do for you? Tell me where the suspect went. Rumor has it that she's out and about in Toronto. Cool, Canada it is. I am definitely familiar that Toronto is in Canada. <laughs> I also love how they use the, the Canadian pronunciation oot in a boot. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh! <laughs> That's kind of cool. I I I would do I do know of the videos where it's like X so and so reacts to something. Th those can be interesting. She said she had dealings of great import in Kampong Cham. Uh. <laughs> okay. I was about to be like I don't want to be stereotypical, but that sounds like China. <laughs> Kampong Cham. Well, hello. Sometimes I go based off of how the words sound. There's a grain of truth to the rumors that she's padding through rice fields in the Mekong Basin. Mekong! That sounds like China, but it's not an option. It could be South Korea, or it could be Cambodia. No, I don't think it would be Cambodia. No, I think, I think it's South Korea. It's definitely somewhere in Asia. Okay, I guess it's Cambodia. <laughs> That's it, robbery's over. You're caught. Yeah, pretty much. Yes, what is it? Where'd the suspect go? She wanted to see the only Southeast Asian country that was never a European colony. The only one? Man, Europe used to rule the world. Uh, so it's not South Korea, so... Oh. There are a lot of Southeast Asian countries available. So actually, I think I'll get some more information. Hey, dude! Welcome. May I help you? Hey, Mustache Man. She's probably proposing plans over a plate of pad thai. Okay, well, you said it in the name is Thailand. And it's only a 45 minute flight. Alright, just as a reminder. Alright, I think we already see her. I'm pretty sure it's this lady. But let's just keep looking. <laughs> Who are you? I'm you, but blonde. <laughs> oh. What's on your mind? It's a good thing that the other lady didn't uh, dyed her hair blonde. Otherwise, she would have been the one arrested. What's on my mind is that you've been caught. Robbery's over. You're under arrest. You're done. D pockets put behind bars. <laughs> me with my hand in the cookie jar. <gasps> Maybe I should go in a diet. I mean, you are average weight. <laughs> Whoa! That's what I call good government. Congratulations. You put these pockets in a pair of prison pants. And there's nothing in her pockets. <laughs> Pokey Fairlax, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> We just got promoted to inve inspector by the chief and where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Whoa! Thank you so much! How's everybody doing tonight? <laughs> oh, nice jigglypuff emojis. Very nice. <laughs> Hello, shiny. Hello, poker pokey for lax. Hello, baby nutty. Hello, bonk 3D. Welcome, everybody. 
That's awesome! How are you all doing tonight? What were you guys playing? <laughs> I'm assuming probably Pokemon, judging by the emotes, but you never know. <laughs> the chief is like, yes, this raid is very exciting, but uh, don't you want to take the next case? <laughs> Fall Guys! Okay! Interesting. Yeah, I know Fall Guys just came to Switch. My uh, older brother and sister are enjoying playing that. <laughs> Hey, that's that's okay. You know, I'm already... I don't always play art-related games, so... Yeah, we're just finishing up the stream real quick. We're going to do one more case and, yeah, <laughs> catch more of Carmen's cronies. But you guys are welcome to stay and enjoy Denmark it. Denmark <laughs> has a tale of woe. Someone has oh. met the writing desk of Hans Christian Andersen. No! The man who spun the stories about the little mermaid and the ugly duckling. So track down that culprit. And give the people of Denmark a happy ending. Yes, Chief. What is it? Okay, at least this one's not really related to the ocean, except transitively for the Little Mermaid, but we can't let them get away with this heinous crime. <laughs> oh, Raid Pirate, thank you so much for suggesting. I was... Whenever I get someone raiding my stream who I've never heard of before, I'm always kind of like, how did they find me? It must have been just like... <laughs> I thought it was going to be someone who was just looking like, is anyone playing Carmen San Diego? It's an old game. Do you need some help? Yeah, I do. Tell me stuff. Authorities believe he's at the root of the recent cassava crisis in Kaduna. I have no idea where that is. <laughs> His locks were chestnut colored. Um, I'm assuming that that's brown? Maybe? <laughs> Hello there. Why, hello? He said his plans to infiltrate Ife were iffy, but he was sure to find safe oh harbor in Port Harcourt. <laughs> Baby Nutty, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I didn't mean to stare, but he looked like he was walking on stilts. All right. All right. We finally have a dude tonight instead of, uh, <laughs> instead of <laughs> a bunch of women criminals. And thank you so much for the follow, Pokey Fairlax. <laughs> I appreciate it. How can I help you? Nah, how can I? Well, tell me where you, you went. Ask me. You wouldn't think that one-seventh of the African people call their capital Abuja, would ya? Probably not. <laughs> At his weight, he can probably fit clothes marked one size fits all. All right. <laughs> I mean, all right! Shiny, thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> Health guide for middle-of-the-road waistlines. Tips for keeping it in the median. <laughs> is that the only thing written? <laughs> we opened up the middle of the book, and it's literally... The title is in the middle of the book. Half of these pages are useless. What? <laughs> I never noticed that before, but wow. <laughs> do you need something? Where do they go? He was last seen smuggling flags of white and green near Benin. But that describes a lot of flags out there. I took a peek, and his hair is colored teak. Who the heck says that? I don't know what colored teak... Teak is? I, again, I'm assuming it's brown? Greetings. He predicted it would be a snap to smuggle Lagos into Lagos. I got a sore neck trying to look him in the eye. And he's tall, too. Okay, so it's somewhere in Africa. Um, I think it's gotta be Nigeria. It's the only option. Oh, yeah, I get I get the reference now, Metal Lord. I was coolest, but yeah, nice Spy Fox reference. <laughs> Worst fairy godmother ever. <laughs> He's just so disappointed. Hello, stranger! Hello! I heard him holler that the dollar was getting smaller, but he couldn't think of a single way to buck the system. Oh, no. Is that so? I was impressed by his eye work. Someone with glasses at last! I'm still not going to make the warrant until I confirm that the guy's hair really is brown. <laughs> Tell me what you need. His plan remains to steal the grains from the Great Plains. He was half what- I don't care what about how fat he was, I want to yes. know- uh, Speak in English what color his He's hair is. worming his way into the Big Apple. Oh, cool. I got a good look at his kneecap. How tall is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's already pretty tall, and th so the criminal must be like his knees are up to here, and he's just like a freaking giant. Oh, his hair reminded okay, okay. me of a grip. Good, it's brown. Leg, like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these games are a classic. I I love the old uh, computer game edutainment games. All right, we're going to the United States, Big Apple, New York. Here we come. Um, we landed in completely the wrong part of the USA, but, alright. Enjoy your stay in the United States. <laughs> he went to the Big Apple, lands in California. <laughs> 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 
That, it would be interesting if they did, like, a super hard mode of Carmen San Diego, where it's like, first you gotta narrow down the country, then, like, the overall location within the country. Greetings. Woohoo! Last I heard, he was steaming east across the South China Sea. Okay. That narrows it down. Let's see what's around the South China Sea area. Oh, it's the uh, Philippines. <laughs> no, it's Chile! Or I guess it could be Russia as well, but Russia's north of China. Nope, nope, we're in the right place. Oh, nice! Well, I hope Twitch is treating you well then, poker... F <laughs> I always keep saying poker lax. <laughs> no, 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 that, that's my poker buddy. I, well, Pokey, I, ho I hope Twitch is treating you well. It can be hard to getting started, but... Streaming is definitely a lot of fun. Would I ever play the Clue Finders or the one edutainment game with the robot and the girl? Okay, so... <laughs> so, you have to understand, a lot of the computer games I played, like, my family bought a bunch of these edutainment games, but also a lot of the ones we got was our local library had a bunch of these old computer games, so... I know exactly the one you're talking about. I don't know the name of the game, but yeah, there was a computer game where the cover was, like, this robot and this girl on a TV. I think it was one of the Jumpstart games. Um, I would not be opposed to it. I've never played either of those before, but it would be interesting. What seems to be the problem? Oh, I, I was not expecting that accent in the Philippines. He's stealing from unsuspecting strangers while on safari on the Serengeti Plain. Okay, the criminals would be a lot harder to catch if they weren't blabbing about their plans to everybody they passed. All right, they're on a safari in the Serengeti, so somewhere in Africa. And the only place in Africa available is Tanzania, so here we go. <laughs> oh yeah. I I got I I'm now on my own. I brought all of my family's old computer games with me, and I have just several drawers filled with old computer games. And I'm <laughs> I'm I'm just slowly but surely making my way through them. <laughs> Just pick up the wagon, dude! He's like, I just wanted to look at it. Come on. Hello, dude. Hello. Hello. He was carrying a book of Jose Marti poetry and humming Guantanamera. Okay, Spanish-speaking country. Could be Cuba. Probably Guatemala? Judging by that name, but, I mean, I'll get a little bit more information. Don't want to go to the wrong place. Whoa, hey, dude. What can I help you with? Apparently, he went over the river and through the woods to Grandma's province to eat some sugar cane. <laughs> okay, I don't think sugar cane is a primary export in Cuba. Uh, exports? No, no, sugar is an export. Okay. How about Guatemala? Uh, export? Nope. Okay, that doesn't help. Need more information. Are you looking for help? He was spotted island hopping on a plane between Isla de la Juventud and Cienfuegos. Okay, island hopping. I mean, Cuba is one island. What? <laughs> well, don't he give me that. He said something about a covert conversation over Cubita coffee. Cubita coffee. It's Cuba. No, they drink Cubita coffee in Guatemala. Remember, folks, I'm not good at history nor geography, so this can be a struggle. <laughs> oh boy, our thief is here. Along with... Carmen's cat is just hanging out everywhere. Alright, brown hair, tall sunglasses, normal weight. Pretty sure that's our man. Oh, wait! That's the guy that everybody was like, I got a good look at his kneecaps. He's not that Hello. tall. Hello. By the way, did you know that you're under arrest, sir? <laughs> Phil O'Dendron captured. <laughs> yes. I, the best part of this is definitely oh, the bad no. pun names. All my schemes have been nipped in the bud. Oh, that's a good pun, R Us. <laughs> She's been booked. Great work! <laughs> You've tossed yet another crook in the clink. I know. Thank you, thank you, you Chief. You spoiled Phil O'Dendron, and now he's filling flower pots in prison. I need a proven success like you to take this next case. 
Will you do it? Uh, unfortunately, uh, Chief, as much as I would love to, we are out of time for tonight. It is now after 9.30, and I generally only stream for an hour and a half on weekdays. But, hey, we saw four cases today, so that's one more than the last few streams we've done, so that's pretty cool. All right, yeah, thank, thank you all. Very, yes, Carmen is a cat owner. It is true. What? What's, no, 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 what's wrong with, what's wrong with cat owners? Hey, not now. No, cats are great. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> Yeah, so we're going to have to wrap the stream up here. Thank you all for joining in, and thank you, Raiders, for stopping by. Oh, Dark Rebellion 34, thank you so much for the follow. You joined just in time for the stream to end. Yeah, but for those of you who are curious, I stream Monday, Wednesday, and usually Saturday. And Monday and Wednesday, we are currently streaming Backyard Baseball, another classic old computer game, and then Carmen San Diego once we finish that. And then on Saturdays, we've been going on a randomizer kick. So I think this Saturday we're doing either Ocarina of Time randomizer or uh, a Donkey Kong 64 randomizer. That's the current plan. On weekdays, I stream at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, run for an hour and a half. And then on weekends, I usually start streaming at 1 p.m. and it generally goes for a few hours. If you guys are interested in tuning in again, that, there you go. Otherwise, yeah, thank you all so much for joining in. It was great chatting with you all. It was great meeting all these new people. And yeah. Hope you guys join in for Wednesday, where we catch more crooks and play more baseball. So, hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless everybody.